Hey, what's going on, fight fans? This is Sean with Boxing Social and Other Sports. Here with my co-host, Olu, in the corner. And we have a special guest in here, Ellis Wims, Super Bowl champion with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, uh, Super Bowl 37. Mm -hmm. uh, you were number 96. Yep. yep. Uh, man, thanks for being here today. Man, cool, man. You know, just good to be able to come out, chop it up a little bit, you know, have a little conversation about sports life or, you know, whatever y'all want to talk about. So, uh, I'm in the building, man. What's up? Let's do it. All right. So, listen. So, let me make sure. So, I want to make sure I'm pronouncing right. So, you're from a place called um, Indianola, Mississippi? Indianola, Mississippi. Uh, in the heart of the Mississippi Delta. In the heart of slave country. Um, I was going to ask you what was it like yeah. growing up there. Because, listen, the, the, the 2010 census actually had only a population of 12,000 people. And most of them were black. Like, 70-something percent was yeah. black there. And they said, like, 40% um, of the population is married. The other 60% single moms trying to make it on their own and all that. Um, yeah, I mean, that's the, that's, that's the story for a lot of... You know, small towns uh, in in the in the South. Uh, you know, you it, it, it's it's it comes out of you know slave culture, and it's great yeah. people. Uh, you know, is is people who love family, they stick together. Uh, but it's one of the tougher environments in America uh, to to raise and build a family. Uh, you know, there's a there's a lot of poverty. There's not a lot of opportunity. Uh, so you know, you, you it's it's a it's a it's a great place, man. It's like. You know, going down to the south is good food, is good people. Mm -hmm. People are nice. You know, they have a good time. Uh, you know, a lot of my family still there, so when I go home, I have a great time. Okay. Uh, actually, um, you know, BB uh, King is from my hometown. BB King is from BB King. Yeah, BB King's from Indianola, Mississippi. Man, the Tom. home of the, the home of the blues. Man, I, I spent a lot of <laughs> I spent a lot of time in hole in the wall blues clubs what? in the I town, man. You know, in the Mississippi Delta. So yeah, it's cool, man. You know, it was it was a good upbringing, uh, but just like you know, a lot of uh, small towns in the South, there are some 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 issues that you can struggle mm. with. But you know, I, I'm blessed to yeah. to be to be from where I'm from. How far is that from Meridian, Mississippi? Uh, maybe a couple hours. Oh, you know, okay. one of my one of my teammates from our Super Bowl team, uh, Kenyatta Walker. Um, he's from Meridian, Mississippi. Man, we came out of high school the same year, college the same year. He was the first round pick uh, in Tampa the same year. I was the sixth round pick. So, uh, yeah, Meridian not too far, man. It's, you know, it's you know, ain't nothing in Mississippi too far from each other. Yeah, you, know, you can always get somewhere. And, and what was it like, like growing up there? Was you like mom, dad, brothers, sisters? How many of there were y'all? Well, uh, my mom was a single mom. Again, like you said, sixty percent uh, of the uh, of the population was single mom. So my mom was a single mom. Uh, I had an older sister, Carmen, a uh, younger brother, Brian, and a younger sister, Shakira. You know, I was the kind of the middle child. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so I had my mom. Uh, you know, me and my my three siblings, man, and, and a lot of my family was there. My grandparents were a huge part of my life. Mm -hmm. You know, and my mom had both her sisters there. Uh, one of mm -hmm. her brothers was there. Okay. They had families there, so. Um, now, when you say they, you talking about all in the same house? No, all, all in, in the same, same area. city, all in the oh, same okay. area. Yeah, all in the same area. No, not in the same house. No, yeah, hey, there's families yeah, like that. Yeah, I know. <laughs> well, yeah, no, it ain't. You know, it, it ain't that tough. You know, you know, my mom actually worked in a lawnmower factory for 18 years there, so she raised us working in the factory. Uh, you know, my mom was a tough woman. Uh, you know, did the best she absolutely absolutely could for her children. Mm -hmm. uh, made sure we kind of stayed on the straight and narrow. Mm -hmm. uh, so I was blessed to have a good mom, man, strong mom that kind of kept me straight. Okay. Yeah.